Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And today we're installing a set of rod buckles. As you can tell, I've already got one of them installed. I wanted to go through the process so I would fully understand how to install these so I can explain it better to you. I actually had to go and get a few extra tools uh, from my house since we're away from my house. I had to go get a few extra tools I actually had to go get a few extra parts, but that is because of the specific way I wanted to mount my rod buckle. But first, I want to thank today's sponsor, Carl's. Right now, we are in the pre-spawn area. It's trying to get closer to that spawn to catch some of those big old fat sallies. You probably need some swim baits on your boat. And I've picked up a couple from Carl's. Mike Buka's Baby Bull Shad and the baby bull gill. Now the ones I'm showing here were exclusive colors that you could have gotten if you were a Carl's Club member. Uh, these colors are pretty unique and you may not be able to get them ever again. But these baits will absolutely slay them during the pre-spawn and you should definitely go pick up some from Carl's. But anyways, let's get back to the rod buckle. So I wanna show off my install here. I didn't want to put it in the gunnel. It's actually a little too big for my gunnel. So I wanted to make sure I installed it as close to the gunnel as possible using the sleek mount, the conceal mount. So show, just gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick. Here's the rod buckle. Uh, it comes out, that was a pretty awful sound. Uh, it comes with the rod buckle itself. Let's just go ahead and open it. Let's get that over with. So it comes with this ginormous rod buckle. Um, as you can see, you know, it's supposed to flush mount against your gunnel or in your carpet. Well, I didn't want to make a giant hole this big into my carpet or my deck. So I wanted to go ahead and buy the conceal mount. So all I have is this little bitty slot here where the rod, uh, where the rod buckle strap will come out. Everything else is below deck. It does use up a little bit of your rod buckle length to do that, but it's not that big of a deal because it's really only a couple inches at most. So your rod buckle is gonna come with the buckle itself. Uh, the clip that you attach to your deck. This is just a simple clip that attaches to the deck. Uh, it comes with the screws that they expect you to use. I found that these are only useful for really the deck clip. Uh, I had to get longer screws to make it all the way through my deck and to actually use the conceal mount. So we'll get over to the conceal mount real quick. The conceal mount has three, oh, actually it has more than three pieces in there. Okay. It's got a couple screws in there. Uh, they're kind of useful. Um, considering that I had to go buy screws for mine, they're not all that useful. So uh, you have the overplate that goes over your current rod buckle. It gives something firm to mount to. You have the conceal grommet here. And you also have this tool that will help you uh, get your rod strap through this concealed grommet thing. I'm calling it a grommet because it reminds me of a grommet. So in order to do this correctly, you are gonna have to take this clip off and use the tool if you're gonna use the conceal mount. So while I'm over here playing with the rod buckle, let's go ahead and get it ready uh, for mounting before I start drilling all my holes and stuff. Uh, it's just gonna make it a little easier to deal with. So first we're gonna deal with uh, the mounting clip. This is uh, just really to give it more sturdiness and actually something to mount to from underneath. All right, so for a large portion of this video, I'm not even gonna be in it. So I just wanna be able to show you guys some of the stuff better. So this uh, little mounting frame here, uh, it only goes on one way because the boat buckle itself is offset. So what we need to do is put uh, the boat buckle on correctly where the strap obviously goes in between these two really easily. And then on the back side here, 
We're going to put a screw in. Sorry if I took it out of frame. Put a screw in and grab our handy dandy screwdriver and go ahead and start screwing that in there. Not all the way tight because we got to get the other side in as well. Line it up. Might have to pull the buckle out itself, which isn't too big of a deal. And then let it back down. I got it all lined up again. Go ahead and put our screw in. Tighten them both down. And now we have uh, our mounting plate for the conceal mount. So the conceal mount will go uh, over this. Let's see, go over this and you will have screws that go through the conceal mount and screw into that mounting plate and sandwiching our deck in this case. So the next thing I wanna show you is how to install this clip. This is just a temporary clip that will allow us to uh, pull the rod buckle uh, through the conceal grommet here. Now on my first install, I ended up breaking this. Um, I'm not sure if it was because the tool was too fragile or if I was too rough with it. Uh, eventually I ended up having to use some lubricant. I used some WD-40 to help pull the strap through, but this broke and I had to use a little piece of wire to help me thread it through. Um, so if you break one of these, uh, just make sure you don't let it uh, roll back up. Every time I'm pulling on this pretty hard through here, I had my clamp on it. Uh, you guys will see that here in a minute. So let's go ahead and pull the rod buckle out. And I'm going to install, I have this just simple DeWalt clamp here. And it's just going to softly clamp on there. And it's just going to keep the strap out and keep it from sucking back in. In case uh, while I'm doing this process, I accidentally let it go. So taking this guy off is a pain in the butt. It's even more of a pain in the butt to put this back on. So I'm gonna show you the best way that I was able to come up with it. It's pretty simple. I hold the buckle in my left hand and then I will take my right hand and I'll use my index and middle finger here to start pushing down on the vinyl strap here. And I'm just gonna start pushing it down and halfway in the middle is a little bitty slot for this to go through. And it may take me a minute to, to get it out because it is a little bit of a pain to do so. And sorry if I can't get it all on camera. There we go. So I got it angled out, just had to scrunch it up to one side and here it goes. It's gonna come on out now. There we go. Now it's out. Now that's, this is exactly why you wanna have it already clamped because if I let it go, it's not gonna go anywhere right now. So we're gonna put the rod buckle itself, the buckle to the side. Gonna go ahead and thread this through so we don't have any more issues with accidentally letting it go. This time I'm actually gonna lubricate this and the grommet before I try to thread it. Uh, so hopefully it pulls through pretty easy this time. Now at this point I can let, let my clamp go it's not a big deal. It's not going to go anywhere because we have our grommet, our uh, tool in place. So now that the buckle is ready for install, let's uh, move on over. I'm going to show you the tools that I need to do the rest of the install and go ahead and get started with that process. Okay, let's start off with the, all the tools that I used on the very first one. First thing you're going to need is some drill bits. Starting off with an eighth inch drill bit and then all the way to a three eighths inch drill bit. And then I picked something in between so I wouldn't jump from an eighth, uh, eighth inch hole uh, to all the way to a three eighths. Uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to have it in between there in case I got it too aggressive and, and cracked out a whole bunch of fiberglass. Didn't want that to happen. 
So need that. Also need a drill. Doesn't have to be cordless, but you do need a drill to uh, drill some holes. We've already talked about a clamp of some kind uh, to hold the rod buckle uh, from rolling back up. Uh, you need some kind of straight edge um, to, to actually keep things in line and make sure you're installing them where they need to be installed. The boat buckle uh, or the rod buckle label here was a perfect straight edge for me since I didn't bring one with me. So I thought it was a pretty handy piece to have. You're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut out uh, the template for your conceal mount. I don't know how well y'all could see that, but you're gonna need to cut it out and install it on the boat so you know where you're gonna be drilling. You absolutely need a screwdriver. Um, you don't necessarily need an impact. In fact, um, if you're a little wary about breaking screws or causing damage, I would probably steer away from the impact. You're gonna be drilling pilot holes anyway, so a screwdriver will work just fine. Um, I've been having to use a little headlamp to help keep things lit up because there's uh, poor lighting in the shop and then also you're working underneath the deck, which doesn't always have the best lighting. Uh, safety glasses, obviously, for when I'm using my Dremel. Uh, you will need something that will trim out the hole and, and complete your hole in the deck of your boat. Um, I'm using the Dremel bit 117 for carving and engraving. It does chew up through fiberglass very, very easy. So uh, it's been working really well. I just have, what is this, a Dremel 3000. It's just a handy tool that I have around the house. I've used it numerous of times. And I have two other tools here, a pair of vice grips. Um, I did use those to help pull the rod buckle through on the first one using the wire uh, when, uh, obviously when that plastic tool broke. I think I was just a little too aggressive with it. And you'll need some kind of lighter to send your carpet to pull it back so you can actually view it. Does it take much lighter to make that happen? Uh, and so when you're using this, be very sparse with it. Very quick, very sparse with the heat. Um, and lastly, you're gonna want some kind of vacuum. Um, this process is pretty messy. You're gonna have fiberglass kind of all over the place. So definitely need a vacuum to go with it. Uh, lastly, in my case, I actually had to buy some longer screws to get all the way through my deck. Uh, so it would actually mount on the rod buckle system itself. Um, my deck's probably about an inch and three quarters thick. So I actually had to get some longer screws to do that. Pretty cheap at the hardware store. It wasn't too difficult to find. Let's go ahead and let's get started installing the second one. I've already installed the first one on the port side. So a couple things before we get started is we wanna make sure that the two buckles match up very well. I did all my alignments off of the rod locker. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit as I'm doing that process. It should be pretty easy to keep everything in line. Let's go ahead and remove the old strap here. Doesn't take much to remove it. And there we go. It is removed. We're gonna put it over here out of the way. So what I've done is I went to the other side and used my boat buckle thing here. Uh, and I put the straight edge on one side of the, on the top side of the rod locker here. And I matched it up with uh, my conceal mount so I could line everything up. Uh, I put a mark here uh, where this groove is Put it right there so I know I'm far enough aligned forward. And then I have these two marks here uh, that actually transfer just from the other side here. You have a mark here. This is, these are the original marks from that side. And you just reverse it. And you'll end up with exactly what you need to do on this side. Uh, and here's the template. 
I made sure everything stayed square and parallel. So the only thing I gotta worry about is making sure I drill these holes in the correct place. Okay, that's the first hole. And what we're gonna do is get one of our screws, pilot it in here. Okay, and get my alignment tool here. And this guy needs to come back just a little bit. And there's where our second hole is going to go. <laughs> I'm just letting the drill do the work here. By the way, I have already confirmed that there's nothing in this area for me to drill a hole through. So everything is over in this area. Nothing is over here. So definitely want to make sure you do that before you drill like I... I just did, I've already just done that confirmation already. Okay. So we drilled out our, our mounting holes already. Um, just to go ahead and do a pilot hole for our larger spot, it is much easier to drill most of this out than it is to uh, try to dremel it out. So I'm gonna do one hole here, one hole on the other end, and then one in the middle just so we get the maximum amount of drills, uh, drill work, so we don't have to use the Dremel as much. Seems like our screws away. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Oh, we'll just... Not gonna do that. We'll clean out the, the hole real quick. Stainless screws break really easy. So we're just gonna clean the hole a little better. Yep, just needed a little more cleanup. We'll do the same thing on this side. You really don't want to over torque any of your stainless hardware, otherwise, it will give out on you and break. Now we got our screws out of the way, we can finish our holes here. That's the first bit. Be warned, it will be hot. Now we're to our medium bit. Now we're gonna be to our full size bit. All right, so I'm going to remove these uh, screws here. We don't need them here anymore. They're just going to be in the way. Now at this point, I'm gonna use a combination of the lighter and the Dremel, clean out some of this carpet here. Uh, we'll be grabbing the vacuum some too, but all, all the major holes are drilled, so the Dremel part should be pretty easy to complete. Okay, gonna go ahead and start the Dremel piece. Don't forget your safety glasses because you wanna make sure you keep your eyes in good shape. to singe back some of the carpet. It does not take much. Now I can see in here much better than I could before.
Got the first two holes mated, so we're gonna grab the vacuum real quick and vacuum up my mess a little bit so I can kind of see a little better. Now that looks pretty good so far. I just need to tighten my uh, Dremel bit. I need to get it extended again. And uh, I'm almost done, it looks like, as far as the trim up work. I just want to get you guys a pretty good view of the hole real quick. It's not exactly the most beautiful thing, but it is perfect for our purposes here, especially since we're going to have that concealed grommet on top to make it look very, very nice. So I'm going to be honest with you, the hardest part of this project is done. Everyone freaks out about cutting a hole here, but now we have our little grommet piece here. It fits nicely in there. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, we uh, grab the screws we've already used. Go ahead and get them started. Since I'm lazy. We're gonna go ahead and get this firmly installed. Now we're gonna have to back this out later uh, when we're mounting the buckle underneath uh, because the screw these are the screws that hold the buckle up against the bottom of the deck. All right, so now it's time for me to hop in the boat. I'm going to have to open the rod locker here and I'm going to thread our boat buckle through. Um, so I have some WD-40 here. Uh, just in case I need some lubricant to, to actually help it through. It is a tight, tight fit. Um, the vinyl here likes to stick, so a little bit of lubricant will help. Okay, so the way I'm installing this one is I'm going, it doesn't really matter if you have it this way or this way, but I'm going to have it this way underneath the deck. It's going to have uh, the least distance to travel in my opinion. So that's the way we're going to do it. So we're gonna pull almost as much out as we can to give us our give us some slack in here, and we're gonna go ahead and put the clamp on. Anytime you have a risk of the vinyl strap here of getting sucked back in, you definitely are going to want to have a clamp on. So Got the clamp on. We're gonna kind of have it aligned the way I want it. So I need to make sure the buckle comes through this way and that we don't have any twists. See, no twist all the way down. So I need the buckle to go through this direction. So this is also a difficult part, at least it was last time. I'm gonna move you guys a little bit out of the way, out of my way at least. And maybe you guys can still see pretty well. Actually, we're not even gonna mess around with it. We're just gonna go ahead and put some lube in here. Just a little bit, just to kind of help. Just to kind of help. Make sure I still have my alignment good. And I, I don't, I flipped it over. Okay, both are there. Now, now it's too slick for me to grab. So I'm gonna use a pair of pliers here. And it broke once again. I don't know if it's me, if I'm doing that wrong or if it's the tool. But either way, that's exactly why you put the clamp on. Now I just got this wire I'm gonna reuse from the last one. It worked really well. So, got the wire through there. All right. Make sure my alignment is still good. We're still good on the alignment. There we go. Definitely need a wire hanging around 
I'm not sure why the clip breaks every time. I might be doing something wrong. You guys let me know in the comments below. Since I no longer have that tool, since it broke, I'm gonna go ahead and install my clip on here so there's no risk of uh, this guy falling back through. So take some of my slack. We're gonna go ahead and put our clip on. Putting it on was much more difficult last time than taking it off. Yay, finally. That was like ages. All right, so now that we got our clip on there, we can undo the clamp. The clamp is undone. So I'm unscrewing the screws just enough so I can feel just a little point protruding from the fiberglass underneath. Therefore, I can use, uh, use the little tip to align it underneath, and then I'll do, this, I'll do the exact same thing to the front one here. I'm gonna be kind of putting myself in an odd placement so I can see and confirm that I'm putting it in the right place. Maybe I can just do it by feel. All right, they're both, they're both in place. I'm gonna tighten them down. We got our strap part installed. I am gonna do a little vacuuming under here in the rod locker real quick, and then we'll move on to installing the clip. Now it's time to install the clip that goes with this kit. So how I did it on the last one is I made sure I had a straight line off the side of the rod locker here, just straight out. So I'm using my straight edge again, which is this boat buckle thing again. And then the very back of it, and now I confirmed all this uh, on the other one that I had enough length that I could deal things with. So. I moved it in and it just seemed to work out really well when the edge was, when the one whole edge was perfect aligned with the rod locker coming out. Now, I want to make sure that I have this straight coming out as well. So, seems like it seems like right there is roughly where it needs to go. Right there. It, this looks, I'm looking at this end, you know, if you, uh, I'm not sure if y'all can see very well down there, but if you have it off to one side, you end up with a bulge on one side or the other. And if you have it perfectly aligned, you don't really have either. So right here seems to be where it needs to go as far as alignment. We'll let it go, and I'm going to move this one this way just a tad. Already have our drill ready with the one eighth hole. Since we're using these little bitty screws here, we're not going to need to drill a very deep hole here. That's as deep as it needs to go. And we're going to be lazy and use the impact. All right. Now I just want to double check my alignment since I only have one hole, make sure everything looks good. Clip it in, clipped in well. This looks good. It looks straight and square to the rod locker. Undo it and we're gonna go ahead and, and put down the other two holes. Six. All right, quick little vacuum. Kind of see where our old one was there. But when the rod buckles out, it's all covered up. And there is our concealed rod buckle install. I really, really like the look of these. And I just like having the strap retract automatically. 
that's really nice and then boom we're reinstalled just as easy man i just can't get over how nice that is boom now there is going to be a little bit of break-in period for the clips since there is carpet right here i could try to get rid of some of this carpet but i'm just going to let the natural break-in process take over now i want to do some cleanup and then we're going to wrap this this project up Man, that was a fantastic install. It was very challenging to a certain degree. Don't get overwhelmed. One of the main points I want to stress here is measure 15 times and only cut one time. You only get to cut into fiberglass once. It's not like wood where you can somehow repair it pretty easily and pretty cheaply. Cutting through carpet, cutting through fiberglass. You really don't get a second chance and making sure your rod buckles in the correct place. But as you can see, it was a fairly easy install coming in well educated, uh, well versed in using many of my tools. So you want to make sure that you know what you're doing when you're doing this, but don't be too scared of learning how to do it. Um, maybe you don't know how to use a Dremel or maybe uh, you're not very comfortable uh, in lining stuff up. Get you a practice piece of wood and try it on a piece of wood first if you're that worried about it. But I'm pretty excited for my rod buckles. I went from barely being able to carry four. Now I have five up here, including an Alabama rig and a left-handed reel. Otherwise, I'd probably be able to fit seven. I still have some work on the buckle part. It's got to get some break in time. I'm pretty excited to use these and they look pretty fantastic. Take a look at the other side. Doesn't that look pretty sweet over there? Man, oh man, there you go. Rod buckles aren't that very expensive, but they do add an expensive look to your boat. Looks much better than those cheap rubber straps. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned something from this video, make sure you leave a like and comment below what exactly you learned about. Thank you guys so much for watching, but just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.